Two Boeing 737 MAX jet liners crashed within five months, causing a total of 346 deaths. Why did these accidents happen? What caused those crashes? Charles Schur is a former supply chain manager at Moog Aircraft, Boeing's main supplier for its flight control systems. He said counterfeit parts made with non-aerospace materials have been installed in 777 and 737 planes that are in service. The story goes like this. Charles set up the Moog supply chain in East Asia and audited almost all suppliers except New Hongzhou Precision Parts, or NHJ. In 2015, Charles was alerted that NHJ had a history of using non-aerospace materials to make aerospace products and falsifying material certifications. Charles sent an engineer to investigate NHJ's production lines. The investigation exposed that NHJ did not conform to the industry's standard identification method for material traceability. This could potentially cause quality issues. An engineer from NHJ's former client told Charles NHJ's owner, Li Jian, instructed his workers to use substandard materials and fabricate certifications. NHJ's ex-workers admitted that they were the counterfeiting brigade. If they were caught, they would go to jail. Charles reported to the Chinese police on June 3, 2018, but did not get a response for months. He contacted them repeatedly and actively supported police investigation. Because of that, his house was broken in, but no valuables were lost. Charles said that that was a direct warning to him. In the end, the police refused to officially establish the case, claiming they couldn't find evidence of wrongdoing. Surprisingly, NHJ sued Charles for defamation on June 28th. Charles asked the court, how was NHJ able to sue him when the investigation was still ongoing? The court said NHJ used the evidence that Charles had provided to the police to sue him. When Charles met the police again, they had collected lots of documents from NHJ, including raw material certificates bearing NHJ's logo. Charles told the police NHJ didn't produce raw materials. How could it issue certificates? Those certificates were all fake. He was shocked to hear the police say that counterfeiting was not necessarily a crime. Charles wrote a letter to Chairman Xi Jinping via the China State Complaint Center and hasn't got a reply even now. He approached virtually all Chinese mainstream media, including Xinhua and CCTV, and got no reply. Only CGTN offered an interview, but cancelled the interview on the scheduled day. Charles exposed the issue on Weibo and his Weibo account was banned. He fears it is only a matter of time before he is silenced. Charles told the reporter, All my devices, including email and voicemail or blogs, are closely watched by police and they can take any action they like to arrest me for speaking the truth. And it is apparent now the police are protecting the counterfeiter and local corrupt government agencies instead of those who are speaking the truth. Charles hopes that more media will help cover his story. He can be contacted at charlesshu88 at outlook.com.